Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm showing you how to make some DIY hanging lanterns for your outdoor space. So this is part of the outdoor DIY and decor challenge hosted by Christina from the DIY Mommy. And she always hosts the best challenges, so I will link the playlist down below if you want to get some ideas and inspiration for your outdoor space this summer. And if you want to see how I make these hanging lanterns, then just keep watching. For the first version, you will need a glass jar or a vase of any size and some rope or macrame cord. I'm using some larger size rope. What I did was just really pick an arbitrary number and I chose to use 8 feet of this rope because I thought that would be plenty long enough. So I just measured that out and cut it. Um, and then I used that as a guide to cut out three more pieces of 8 foot rope. So at the end I had four pieces of rope that were each 8 feet long. Next, I lined up all the ends of them so that they were even, and then I folded it in half so that I could make a loop at the top. I took that little loop and I made a big knot at the top and just pulled it really tight. To make the knot even tighter, you can take each of the individual strings of rope underneath the knot and pull on each one until your knot is very tight and looks the way that you want it to look. Next, I taped down that top part and made sure it was secure so I could move on to my next step. I took two pieces of rope that were right next to each other and made a knot. Now, I would say this was about 10 inches down from my original big knot at the top. 10 inches to maybe one foot. Now, I'm just going to do the same thing by pulling up two pieces of rope that are next to each other and making another knot that's even and in line with the first one that I made. Continue doing this with all of your pieces of rope by grabbing two pieces and making a knot that's in line with the others. So at the end you will have four knots in a row all the same height. Once you finish with that, choose two of the knots that you just made and then pull up the two strings that lie in between them. Now you're going to use those to make another knot a few inches down. And again, continue doing this. Choose two of your top knots and then take the two strings that are lying in between them and make another knot. So you have four more knots, a little ways down, all the same height. The final step is to make a big knot at the bottom. So just take that excess rope and make another big knot. And then I just went ahead and trimmed the ends so that they were all even. The last step is to take your jar or vase or whatever you're using and put it in between all of those knots you just made and it will rest perfectly on that big knot on the bottom and you can just hang it up. I decided to put fairy lights in mine. For the next one, you're just going to need some thinner twine and a little jar or vase. I'm just using this one that I got at Michael's. And what you're going to do is take your twine and wrap it around the thinnest part of your vase and then tie a double knot and then just cut off the excess on the ends. Now what I'm going to do is measure the height of my vase and mine was 6 inches. So I multiplied that by 10 so I'm making 60 inch pieces of rope and you're going to need 6 of these pieces. I'm folding them in half so I have another little loop at the top and then I'm sliding them under that piece of string that I wrapped around my base. Then I'm just bringing the bottom up and pulling it through that little loop so that I have the beginnings of a knot here. I'm not going to pull it fully tight because I want to wrap all six of these pieces in the same way and I want to make sure they're evenly spaced. So I'm leaving them a little bit loose so I can slide them around and make sure that they're all evenly spaced once they're all on there. Once I've done that and I'm happy with how it looks, now I'm going to go ahead and tighten each of the knots so that they are very secure on that top piece of string that I wrapped around my base. Next I'm doing the same process that I did in the first version of this. So I'm picking two knots and I'm taking the two strings that are below them and tying another knot. So you're going to follow this same process the whole way down. So I just kept spinning the vase, choosing two knots, taking the two pieces of string that were in between them and making another knot. And you can continue doing this all the way around and then start another level and another level and you can go as far down as you want. Once you're happy with how that looks, you can just flip the jar over and then gather up all the loose ends of string and tie one big knot at the bottom to keep everything nice and secure. 
Then I decided to take this little piece of copper that I had and slide it onto my string because I wanted to give it a little bit of an embellishment. So I just took that and slid it onto the ends of my string and let it rest on that knot that I just made. And then the last step is to make another knot so that that won't slide off. So just make a big knot. Now I'm taking some copper wire and I'm just going to make something to hang it up by. So I basically just made a loop around one of the top strings and then wrapped the wire around itself. Next I took that wire and I brought it over the top of my vase and down to the other side and I used my wire cutters to just cut off um, the excess. And then I did the same thing, I wrapped the wire under the top piece of string, folded it up and then continued to wrap it around itself and now I've got this little handy copper wire that I can hang it up from. Thank you for watching and obviously you can use these inside too, they're not just for outdoor decor. So if you don't have an outside area, you can also make these just to hang inside your house or apartment. Um, but I'm going to be hanging them on my terrace because I think they look really cute out there and they'll be perfect for the summer. Um, and thank you to Christina for hosting this challenge. I will link that playlist down below if you want to check out any of the other videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!